On January 31, 2023, the WVU Heart and Vascular Institute performed the world's first complex robotic aortic valve reconstruction in combination with a robotic mitral valve repair. At the West Virginia University Heart and Vascular Institute, we're focused on innovation, not just for West Virginia, but for the nation. Being the first in the world to do something like this, of course, is gratifying to the team. But innovation is not about us. It's always about the patient. I'm Sean Huntermark, and I'm from Bridgeport, West Virginia. I'm a salon owner and have been in the business for 40 years. I'm very busy, five days a week, daylight to dark, basically. <laughs> In 2017, Mr. Huntermark was diagnosed with a mitral valve leak that was monitored by his physician over the next five years when his condition began to worsen. As time went on, I was experiencing more of a shortness of breath and just tiredness. I was cutting my hours way, way back, not taking as many clients a day. Mr. Huntermark was interested in robotic mitral valve surgery and was evaluated by other centers around the country. Upon further testing, doctors found that he also had a leaking aortic valve. Mr. Huntermark was offered traditional approaches for these conditions. Their solutions were not what I was looking for. I've met a lot of people that have had heart disease over the years, and the process of healing scared me of wanting to do a traditional open heart surgery. Because of his desire for repair and not replacement, and for the surgery to be done robotically, Mr. Huntermark was referred to the WVU Heart and Vascular Institute, where he met with Dr. Vinay Bedouar and his team. When I first came to WVU Heart and Vascular Institute, I met Dr. Bagdwar and I knew I was in the right place. Patients that have combined disease of leaking aortic valve as well as mitral valve oftentimes are approached through the chest to get an aortic valve replacement and mitral valve repair. But there is a body of literature now on aortic valve reconstruction that shows that if one can repair the valve well, it may be the only operation he needs for the rest of his life. Being a hairdresser, I didn't want a full sternotomy because I was worried about not having the ability of both the left and right arm. So for me, robotics was the only choice. On January 31st, Mr. Huntermark had the world's first aortic valve reconstruction in combination with a mitral valve repair. And he's done exceedingly well. As we innovate and do operations, we do these to tailor the operation to fit the patient and not the patient to fit the operation. So his specific request to make every effort to have this done robotically and the results could not have been better. He was basically ready to be discharged after the first one to two days, uh, though we kept him an extra day just for, for safety. I um, just met him today uh, at his one month visit and he has no leakage of the valves, his heart function's excellent, and he looks outstanding. I'm healing very quickly. It feels good, definitely, to be back. And it feels, I feel better now than I've ever felt in a long time.